How's it going everyone? This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scrub, but you can call me Bailey. Hope you're having a good day. If you've seen the first video, hope you're having a good day still. Or, if you haven't seen the first video, go and watch that one. It's going to be another live GOAT format duel. It's going to be the uh, second duel with Zombie. So let's get right into it. Joining the pool. Quickly finding someone. Okay, so how many can we get in a row? He's going to go paper. He's picking. He's really thinking. Breaker the Magic Warrior. Oh, I win again. All right, so the record is still zero. Never had two in a row. I'm going to go first, obviously. Let's see what I draw this time. Okay, not bad. Unfortunately, graceful. Uh, no good targets to discard. Um, though I kind of want to use it only because I'm a little afraid. I would just set scapegoat because I have metamorphosis in hand, and I still might do that. Um, but I'm afraid that he might have duo, so I'm just gonna draw three. Okay, Jinzo I'll probably discard. Let's see. Definitely getting rid of the Jinzo. And... Do I get rid of... Nobleman or Book of Moon? I think I'm gonna get rid of Book of Moon. Yeah, because if he is a nobleman... I just don't want to risk uh, discarding Book of Moon, or uh, discarding my nobleman. Okay, so that's perfect. Stand by main. So I'm going to go ahead and nobleman. Alright, he's running three Dekoichi, makes me a little interested. It's not too often you see three, though it could just be something to side out. Um, I'm just gonna flip summon. Target Graceful, just in case he had something you should declare target. I have two meta in hand, so I'll probably, let's see, hopefully I can get something to discard. One, two, three. Shuffle. I'm gonna get rid of one metamorphosis. And... Just the MST, how that I don't want to get rid of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and normal summon. Declare. Alright, so that's what I was afraid of a little bit, uh, but not too much. I mean, it's okay, I'm left a little bit open here, but it's still a pretty strong back row. Uh, chainable, so we can't get rid of it. Tribe. So can, please don't discard. If you discard to get rid of a Magician of Faith, I will. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I guess it's free. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, because... Why take damage? I guess I should have done that on end phase. Oh my gosh, he's... I'm really dumb. Um, because I just was like, oh, I'll not take damage. I don't know why he didn't go to main phase 2 and just discard. Um, but okay, so... Remove. And... Let's see if he has anything. Alright, so that goes Dextra, because, uh... It would just never come out. You don't. It's not an inherent summon, but he can absolutely judgment that. Uh, do I have a way to get game right now? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I don't even want him to know what I'm playing, so I'm just gonna banish, banish. I'm not gonna show him that I'm running zombies. So, also, that's the power of GOAT format, everyone. Sometimes you just uh, go ahead and see cards that aren't even in your engine, but you just win because BLS is powerful, and Magician of Faith is powerful, and staple cards when you get to run Graceful Charity and play it twice. It's pretty good. So, what did I see there? Um, Dekoichis. So, I don't really think Sakuratsu Armor is going to be too good because he's running probably something more like Flip Control. Um, I might put it in Mind Control. 
over what though? Um, hmm, do I want maybe creature swaps? Yeah, I'll go over creature swap, just because it's a somewhat conditional card. I can always bring him back in next game. Hopefully I won't have to go do that, because hopefully there won't be a next game. But this is GOAT format. Okay, so Graceful, Pyramid, Meta, Snatch, Typhoon. Alright. Show. Obviously it's going to have to be that, just because he has nothing else. So we'll go ahead and mind control, probably to Koichi. It's a Sangan, that's unfortunate. And I don't think I have a three in here. Not that I really would want to. <sighs> Dang, so he baited that out well. Alright, we'll go ahead and graceful. One, two, three. Ugh, and I drew a nobleman. Two grave and I guess although I kinda like the idea of having Vampire Lord into Dark Balter, I'll send this to Grave. Maybe it's the wrong choice. But uh, I can get Vampire Lord back. Unfortunately, change control and end turn. Actually, yeah, no, I'll keep my best in hand. Maybe it's stupid. Oh, okay, he had pot agreed, but I graceful. What can you do? And Thunder Dragon, alright, so only a light and grave, but he is playing Thunder Dragon. Didn't see that game one. Uh, he might just tribute over Sangan for Thunder Dragon. That'd be a little bad for me, because I want a nobleman the Sangan. Let's see, he's going to do a Sangan beat. Alright, so 2800 damage. Oh, this is... So, you'll start to see the problem with uh, zombies is things like this. If you can't outpace your opponent, um, and I could not have Book of Life even last turn because he didn't have a monster in Grave, and you cannot uh, activate one if you don't have the other, because um, you have to target the monster in your opponent's graveyard. Um, what could happen is if somehow, say, you... Uh, Book of Life, Target, Thunder Dragon, and Vampire Lord, and then they use a Call of the Haunted, it would start to resolve, because you can Special Summon the first, and then, if it happens, Spanish the second, uh, but it's not part of the, or it still would meet the activation requirements. Okay, that being said, activate Pot of Greed. <laughs> uh, so, draw two. ELS. So, this isn't the best right here. Um... Or I want to snatch. I don't know if I have any other plays. I'll snatch. Kaiku. And I will attack. And I guess I'll just get rid of the one light. Cannot get rid of Sangan. Alright, Sinister Serpent. Um... Do I want to... I don't know if I want to set MST only because if he has heavy, that just hurts even more. Um, and yeah, I'm not really afraid. I mean, I can always MST. He doesn't have anything set already. I don't know. Maybe it's about getting the wrong call. Game's not going so great so far. I do have one more Vampire Lord in deck, so luckily I'm not completely locked out from my zombie. Big zombies, I should say. We'll still have, obviously, the Pyramid Turbo and Spear Reaper in deck. Comment below what your favorite aggressive deck in GOAT format is. Okay, use your effect, please. I guess you have Sinister Serpent. He also could now just discard a Thunder Dragon, but he's not. 1600. It's not too bad. Okay, what can I do here? Nothing really. 
So, I mean, I guess I can just... The problem is we'll add Sinister Serpent right back to his hand, and yeah. Okay, well... I was thinking he could attack, see Zombie, or a Spirit Reaper, and then just call Zombie and discard. But, unfortunately, so, again, doesn't look in the... <laughs> We're not in a good position, folks. Um, I'm gonna blind MST, just get rid of it. It's maybe a Judgment. It's Meteor Force. Okay. And that might be game. Um, I have no cards... Uh, it would have been nice if that Spirit Reaper was still on board, because then I could have attributed for Jinzo, but I don't have cards in Grave, so BLS isn't looking live anytime soon, or Book of Life. Um, yeah, like I've said in the first video, uh, one of the negatives of this deck, I'm just going to set a Book of Life in a Nobleman. I mean, I can't do anything anyways. If he heavies, I'll admit defeat, probably. Um, but you can brick sometimes. It just will run into this situation where you just can't really do anything. Okay, so I guess I live one more turn, and in GOAT format, it's usually good to just always uh, take chances. Like, don't quit until you absolutely know you're not going to win, and that's absolutely knowing you're not going to win. Um, way too many good cards in my hand, like Book of Life. It's a great card, but with no zombies in Grave, and I had it for a little bit, but no cards in his Grave. Uh, if I am premature the first time, maybe I could have done something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put Kaiku in, though, because this deck does have a problem with Chaos. It can at least trade with his own Kaiku. Um, what else do I want to potentially do? I definitely think... Problem is, yeah, I didn't see too many great cards. I want to keep in... Maybe I'll get rid of one Pyramid Turtle, because I don't have the, uh, other cards in anymore. The creature swaps, and that's what it's really good with, and I'll get rid of one Scapegoat. I'm thinking that's probably the call. And you know what? I just like scapegoats too much. Uh, you can see the little goat in the corner of my thumbnails. It's uh, my YouTube icon. It's goat format. Gotta like the goats. A blue goat is by far the best. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, like who's gonna go first? Me, because it's my turn to pick. Okay, Vampire Lord, Snatch, Faith, Heavy, Book of Life. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pro set Heavy Storm. Unfortunately, not much I can do here, uh, but maybe bait him in, because I just don't want to set Faith right away. It's just not good. Okay, this could maybe be okay. I could Snatch, Summon Vampire Lord, Book of Life could then be live. Um, when he goes to Grave, obviously. He has a monster in Grave. Come on, set two. Yes. Draw phase. Show. Okay. Unfortunate. What's he gonna send? Faith. Alright. Gotta pro shuffle twice. Hmm. I'm just gonna shuffle my hand and pass, to be honest. Um, and maybe a bad play. I just don't want a heavy for one. I really want a heavy for two. It's what I was afraid of, but what can I do? Just a free draw one for him, but whatever. Luckily, he's running a deck that kind of can struggle to get in damage, and he's playing pretty passively at that anyways. All right. Oh my gosh, bro. Stand by. Or I'll show. What am I doing? Doesn't even matter. So this is just what it feels like in GOAT format as well. Sometimes your opponent just has Dust Shoot into Dust Shoot. Do I dare let another... You know what? I don't even care. Please, just set another card so I can get a heavy for two. Oh my... <sighs> you can criticize my play. I was uh, thinking about calling this Roast Me just because I'm sure that I'm going to be making many a misplay during these games. But like... What can I do when you just get Dust Shoot into Dust Shoot? 
I get, like, set your whole hand, and then what? I have heavy, so I can't do that. <laughs> okay, battle phase for 14. Again, like I said, he can't do much damage, and hopefully it won't be much. Please, yes, I swear. Oh, I was waiting for it. Stand by. Main. Shuffle. Activate. Please. Okay, <laughs> I was like... Right, and please don't tell me he's someone who's going to do that. All right, what do I want to do? I'm going to definitely snatch this tribute over for Vampire Lord and swing in. He probably knows what's set because he has seen my hand two turns in a row. But what can you do? I knew it. He... And so this is a problem that uh, this deck has with Chaos is the monsters are inherently bigger and They just keep banishing your Vampire Lord, and they he pretty much knows he's playing very well um, that unless I draw into a, like, Pyramid Turtle, because that way... I think he hits for 23. All right, looks like we're probably going to lose this ring. Doesn't really do much for me. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and set. Oh my god. Alright, so it's GOAT format, and this is a pretty bad matchup. Uh, it actually shows off the cons that this deck has pretty well. Uh, it only did beat Chaos Warriors, so I didn't see much Chaos. You know, maybe it wasn't Chaos Warriors. Anyways... Uh, this is just what you see. Do I want to... I don't even want to ring, because he can then just ring himself and do whatever he wants. So, looks like I pretty much lost, because my chaos monster. Um, I'll set this. And then, maybe I'll have to summon another monster and I can... Torrential... Alright, we're kind of still in it. Let's see. Tribe. I'm just going to ring this, to be honest. I don't. Again, maybe not the right call, but... I need something to go my way here a little bit, and nothing really is. Didn't want to set the goats because in case he had premature burial. Does he want to attack? Probably. Pretty strong torrential there. Sets okay. Um, that's probably the best monster in my deck. Do I set it? I think I do. I saw him looking in his grave at one point. Um, that scares me, because it makes me think he's looking to see if he has lights and darks, which I think he does. Yes, he does. So, uh, the reason I don't want to do that is because he could then just summon Chaos Horse or BLS, and then basically do whatever. Oh, my god. <sighs> I'm probably not going to use Delinquent Duo, although it would be, would be strong. He uh, still has a Ring of Destruction, and that just opens me up to literally getting ringed by Sinister Serpent for games, so... Luckily, I didn't stand by, I can do that. Knight Assailant, okay, that's a pretty good hit. I'm not running any Knight Assailant myself. Light and Dark, I will set this and go to End Phase.
So if I can get another scapegoat, that's a pretty strong nobleman. No charity, okay. Discard Serpent and Card Destruction. Yeah, yeah, I guess he doesn't really need more cards, so he's definitely running just Chaos Turbo. Um, Knight Assailant's Thunder Dragon. It's actually a pretty cool deck. I've never really built it myself, not at least with card destruction and uh, cards that get effects when being discarded. Alright, of course Mind Control. Now, why couldn't it have been last turn? Alright. I guess I'll end my turn. <laughs> Maybe I can deck him out, who knows. Alright, I mean, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Flip your faith back down with Book of Moon and End Phase. If I win this game, it is a miracle. Thank you all for watching so far. Flips faith back up. Uh, let's see what he gets. Is he gonna just get Nobleman and start doing something? Nope, Charity again. Alright, maybe we can actually get the deck out. Please just, like, keep drawing Sooks and Faiths and things to flip this faith down. And get Charity back and just keep drawing until you have no more cards. I will love that. No, please, use Morphing Jar. Okay, yep. Yeah, and he got it. And so he's just gonna summon literally any monster and attack for game. Yep, let's see, probably BLS. There we go, guys. That's it. That's GOAT format. BLS attack for game. Every single time. <laughs> I have some ideas uh, for videos, so be on the lookout for some uh, funny shorts that I want to make. Uh, but there we go. Be a less attack for game. Thank you all for watching. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scarf. We're going to have one more deck for uh, profile. Profile. I cannot speak right now. One more live replay coming out with the zombie deck a little bit later. Three a day. Same deck. Comment below if you want me to play a deck. If I start seeing a lot of comments, I will make, build, and play that deck in GOAT format. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.